We all knew the day would come when SpaceX's Crew Dragon, the crown jewel of modern space travel, would eventually be replaced by something bigger, faster, more advanced. But no one expected it to start this way. Amid rising controversy surrounding Elon Musk, NASA is now quietly exploring alternatives to SpaceX's vehicles. But here's the catch. You can't immediately replace Crew Dragon. Not easily, not quickly. And certainly not without some resistance from the people who matter most, the astronauts. After five years of flawless missions and unmatched comfort, Crew Dragon has become more than just a ride to the ISS. It's earned the trust, and even the affection, of those who fly it. Sleek. Reliable. Battle-tested. For NASA's elite, choosing another spacecraft right now? It's almost unthinkable. Find out everything in today's episode of Tech Map. There's an old African proverb that goes, when elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. It means that when powerful forces clash, it's the ordinary folks who feel the pain. And right now, that proverb perfectly captures what's happening between Elon Musk, Donald Trump, and NASA. Recently, Elon Musk made waves by threatening to halt operations of the Dragon spacecraft. Yes, the very one that ferries astronauts to the International Space Station. With SpaceX's $22 billion government contracts at stake, both the Pentagon and NASA are rattled. The White House, understandably, is deeply concerned. What once seemed like a comical spat between Musk and Trump has escalated into something far more serious. To be fair, NASA saw this coming. For years, they've been wary of leaning too heavily on any single provider. That's why they've consistently pushed for diversity in their partnerships, to ensure smooth operations even if one partner stumbles. It's also why Boeing Starliner is still in the game, despite all its setbacks and underperformance. But here's the problem. NASA has allowed Boeing too much leeway for too long. Over the past decade, the lax oversight has let issues fester snowballing into a nearly unmanageable situation. The original plan for redundancy? It's crumbling. Right now, SpaceX is NASA's only reliable ticket to the ISS. If something goes wrong with SpaceX, America might find itself in the embarrassing position of asking Russia, yes, Roscosmos, for a ride to space. That would be a huge geopolitical setback for a country that's spent decades trying to distance itself from Russian reliance in space. But Russia isn't the real threat anymore. China is. They're moving full steam ahead with their manned lunar mission, aiming to land astronauts on the moon by 2030. That's why Trump, during his administration, shifted NASA's priorities toward outpacing China in space. Given the ongoing context, it's likely he'll continue to push hard for the accelerated development of alternative spacecraft and launch systems. That said, there's been a recent shift. Musk deleted his provocative post and appears to be softening his stance. While Trump hasn't exactly welcomed him back with open arms, tensions seem to be cooling. What was once an explosive feud is now in a slow containment phase. Experts believe the bromance between Trump and Musk is over for good, but eventually a truce will be necessary. This is bigger than personal drama. It's about national security. Let's not forget, SpaceX is still a cornerstone of America's space ambitions. Dragon is the only operational crew vehicle to the ISS and the only spacecraft selected to safely deorbit the station when the time comes. And the Artemis program? It desperately needs the affordable, powerful Starship rocket. Without it, NASA risks being bogged down by bloated legacy systems like Orion and SLS. And then there's the human side, astronauts themselves. They've been flying on Dragon for five years now, and they love it. Sleek, reliable, and modern. It simply works. Compared to the traditional capsule, there's no question. SpaceX's Dragon offers a far more comfortable ride. With a roomy 9.3 cubic meters of cabin space, it's designed to comfortably house four astronauts, giving them actual room to move around. The interior has often been described as quietly luxurious. 
featuring a sleek black and white minimalist design, high-grade carbon fiber finishes, and seats wrapped in Alcantara fabric, a material usually reserved for luxury cars. Now, contrast that with the Soyuz. It's a spacecraft that's infamous for its cramped interior, barely four cubic meters of space shared by three astronauts, often packed in like sardines. NASA astronaut Don Pettit once shared how, once strapped in, his heels almost touched his buttocks. He was restrained at eight different points, leaving only his hands, head, and toes free to move. Some astronauts have described it as a space prison, or worse, a medieval torture chamber. This narrow design necessitates that Soyuz astronauts have to be real jack-of-all-trades, handling a wide range of scientific, technical, and survival tasks during long missions. But that tight space isn't for nothing. Soyuz's compact design is meant to protect astronauts from serious injuries during a hard landing on the Kazakh steppe. The smaller space helps keep internal organs from shifting dangerously during high g-forces. Now look at the space shuttle. While Soyuz offered just four cubic meters of livable space, the shuttle boasted a massive 65.8 cubic meters. That meant more freedom to move around, bigger crews, and a generally more comfortable experience for long-term missions. When it comes to tech, Crew Dragon is leagues ahead. Gone are the endless buttons and levers, replaced by sleek touchscreen controls and a futuristic interface that feels straight out of a sci-fi movie. It's highly automated, too. Ground control can handle most issues, and astronauts only need to take manual control when absolutely necessary. Even the spacesuits are integrated into the system, automatically adjusting cooling and airflow on the fly. Compare that to the Soyuz, which still uses old-school switches and analog dials. And even the space shuttle, advanced for its time, had a dizzying maze of buttons and switches that required intense training to master. Then there's Boeing's Starliner. Like Dragon, it's a private, reusable spacecraft with touchscreen controls and an autonomous docking system. But there's a catch, Starliner is far more expensive. Each seat costs about $90 million, mostly because it's launched on ULA's expendable Atlas V rocket. Dragon, on the other hand, rides the partially reusable Falcon 9, bringing costs down to about $55 million per seat. What really matters to astronauts, though, is safety and reliability, and Dragon delivers. With over 10 crewed NASA missions and a number of bold private endeavors under its belt, Crew Dragon has a proven track record of getting the job done safely and efficiently. Starliner? Not so much. It still hasn't been certified for manned flights. Its development has been bogged down by delays and technical mishaps. Its first crewed test flight even experienced issues that made it unsafe to return. NASA is still working to get it certified, but with the ISS approaching retirement, time is running out. Unless Starliner can prove itself quickly, its window of opportunity may be closing. Some astronauts may trust Boeing's legacy, but few will feel fully confident until the spacecraft earns that trust through consistent, safe flights. Meanwhile, NASA and the Pentagon are in early talks with other companies like Rocket Lab, Stoke Space, and Blue Origin. According to sources, these discussions are very active, but any actual replacement is still considered a long way off. Rocket Lab is working on the Neutron, a reusable medium-lift rocket. Stoke Space is building the Nova, aiming for full reusability. But realistically, both are years away from challenging SpaceX's lead. Blue Origin may be a more plausible contender. Their new Glenn rocket is prepping for its second flight, but there's still no plan for a human-rated orbital spacecraft. And then there's Sierra Space's Dream Chaser a sleek spaceplane-style vehicle. It's an exciting concept, but only the cargo version, named Tenacity, is close to launch. The crewed version? Still in development. So for now, Crew Dragon remains the gold standard, combining cutting-edge tech, lower costs, and a proven safety record. Until a new challenger truly rises, 
SpaceX continues to set the bar for human spaceflight in the 21st century. For short, some astronauts may accept the change out of duty, but it's hard to imagine them preferring an alternative at this stage. And in the future, how American astronauts will fly into space without SpaceX's Dragon spacecraft remains a question. So what's your take? Do you think Dragon would be quickly replaced? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, if you love this deep dive, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring the bell. We're aiming for 150,000 subscribers, and we need you to get there. Check out our other videos on Starship, Artemis, and more, and let's keep exploring the cosmos together. We know that, inevitably, Dragon will be phased out and replaced by SpaceX's next-generation spacecraft, Starship. When that time comes, the door will be open for other companies to step in with their own innovations and potentially take over the reputation Dragon once held. But here's the real question. What lessons can they take from Dragon's legacy to achieve that level of success? Building Crew Dragon wasn't just about hardware. It was about assembling the right team. SpaceX brought together a powerhouse group of engineers, software developers, and designers, all working closely with NASA and astronauts who would eventually fly in the spacecraft. This collaborative approach was key to making Dragon not just functional, but truly human-centered. At the heart of the design effort were key figures like John Fetterspiel, the chief engineer, who played a crucial role in developing Dragon's modern interface and its iconic touchscreen control system. Garrett Reisman, a former NASA astronaut and SpaceX's director of space operations, provided real-world insights from his time in orbit, vital experience that helped shape Dragon into a truly human-rated vehicle. And Shane Mielke, the lead UI UX designer, teamed up with software engineers, mission operators, and even astronauts to craft an interface that's not only sleek but also intuitive and easy to use in high-stress conditions. And speaking of astronauts, their feedback was absolutely essential. NASA astronauts Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, who flew Dragon's first crewed mission, played a hands-on role in refining the spacecraft's design. Their real-world input ensured the final product wasn't just designed for astronauts, it was designed with them. NASA, meanwhile, held the critical role of evaluating and certifying the final product. Through the Commercial Crew Program, NASA partnered with SpaceX in a groundbreaking way, offering support, funding, and technical guidance from concept to launch. That collaboration wasn't just helpful, it was the foundation on which Crew Dragon was built. Last but certainly not least, cost is a big factor in making Dragon a viable option for NASA. SpaceX has made significant advances in reusable rocket technology, which has dramatically reduced launch costs and expanded access to space. This cost reduction could be a key factor in making Dragon and SpaceX's launch services attractive to government agencies like NASA and the Pentagon.